Hi, I'm Phil from United Commercial Upholstery Inc. We are the manufacturers of Sweet Seats. What we're going to do today is we're going to show you how to install Sweet Seats on a Club Car DS, model 79 to 99. Important thing before you start, make sure that you have the right seats because there are two different series of Club Car DS's. Uh, they did change over the years, but as far as seats goes, there are only two important distinctions. For 79 to 99, to identify it quickly, first thing you do is walk over to the cart. The 7999s have metal tubular hip restraints. They'll have a two-piece back from the factory, and they have natural aluminum roof supports. And starting in 2000, they went to plastic hip restraints and a painted black uh, roof support, and then they went to a one-piece back. So if you have trouble making them fit, make sure you've got the right seats for the right cart. We're going to start by removing the seat backs on our stock cart. Do that by grabbing a Phillips. Now, on these, for the seat backs, we will not reuse the, the old hardware. Uh, there is new hardware that's installed in the seat backs and your sweet seats. For the base, we will reuse the hardware that's in, that came on the cart. This cart's had a pretty good life, it looks like. Uh, unlike a lot of carts that you see once they get to this age, they'll have spent some time outside, there'll be some more corrosion. This one has been loved and cherished apparently, so the hardware isn't even too corroded and the stuff's coming out pretty easy. Okay, now that we have our seat backs out, we'll take these and set them aside. We'll go over to our sweet seats, which I've already unpackaged. Flip them over, see that the hardware is pre-installed for the backs. The one that we're doing is a little bit of a custom seat. It has the armrests that come with a touring edition, but the, the customer elected not to have headrests on this one. Okay, to start with, I'm just going to take a couple of these over, leave the rest of the hardware over here, and we we'll want to get one started. Always start all your hardware by hand. It uh, really avoids problems with cross-threading or dislodging the T-nut. You'll want to hold it up into place, get your first one started, try and get it squared up as much as you can. It makes it getting started a little bit easier. Once we get that first one in, it's a little bit easier to go over and get the other bolt started. If you got a buddy that's around that can help you, it makes it a little bit quicker, but I'm trying to show you how to do this by yourself.
after you've got them all finger tightened and in, you can grab our wrench. You use an impact driver, be very careful. Because it is easy to over torque these. These are only quarter twenties. Seat backs are on. Our next step will be to remove the, the stock seat. We'll grab it and we'll carry it over to our bench. We will be reusing the hip restraint mechanism because it has the uh, hinge tabs attached to it already. Using the, the stock hardware. stock seat. And now we're ready to place our hip restraints and hinge tab assembly under the sweet seat. If you get some that are a little too corroded that they don't want to start, you can just, these are just quarter 20 volts, they're widely available. I usually keep some extras on hand just in case I get one that got a little wet and came out really corroded.
Okay. Set that down a little bit. Always make sure they're <laughs> well finger started. Of course, it helps if you put your impact driver in forward instead of reverse. That's it. This is actually one of the simpler sweet seed installations. Some get a little bit more challenging, but this one isn't too bad. There you go. That installs sweet seats on a 79 to 1999 Club Car DS. Thanks for watching.